What's going on YouTube? Dread here. This video is going to be about the basics of the market system in CrossOut. I was playing the other day and somebody in chat was asking questions about the market and he said there wasn't any good videos on YouTube about the market and uh, he was just wanting to know how to basically work the market I've seen some videos on YouTube about how to make a lot of money on the market and those kind of things this is just going to be a basic guide for the market for those who do not or kind of afraid to get into the market they don't know how to use it and I want to make this video because to me the market is a third of this game uh, it's a lot of fun. There are a lot of credits to be made. If you know what you're doing, you can make some money and buy and upgrade items. And so to me, you almost really kind of need to at least be able to sell and buy things on the market. And so let me show you the basics of the market system. Now, let's start with if you wanted to sell something that you already have and so you go to your storage is the easiest way to sell an item that you already own and so I'm in my storage I always set mine to all because I just know what list it is um, you know if you do this it'll show you all your paints all your decor all your cabs and frames uh, but for the storage, I like to leave mine on all, but in the market, I separate these when I'm looking for stuff. But anyway, the easiest way to sell an item from your storage is to right-click on it. Okay? Now, this is the most important thing when you're selling an item. Never just sell right here. Always go to trade. Okay? Uh, right now, these things are going for 160 credits. If I sell right now, I'm going to be sell, uh, shortchanging myself at least 50 credits. And so what I want to do is go to trade. Um, and it'll bring you up into this window. Now say I wanted to sell this ammo pack. Um, I can sell it outright right now without having to wait for 105 but I never do that. I would rather wait and try to get my full price for it. To me, it's silly uh, just to need it now. So when you go to sell, you want to put your own price in there. You do not want to put it for uh, the exact same price as the bottom number here. You want to go somewhere, uh, somewhat downward. And I think it's a good idea to go ahead and do $159.99 on these kind of items it actually tells you what you're actually going to get for it if you sell it the um, the market takes a little bit of a share from whatever you sell and so if I put this up for sale it's going to go on sale okay successfully put up for sale you can go to the market up here go to my offers and you'll have that right down here 159.99 it's for sale nobody's bought it yet I'm going to go ahead and take that down because I don't want to sell it um, this is a headlight set I have up for sale we're going to leave that up there so that storage big thing now uh, don't when you right click on it do not do not sell unless you know what you're doing because um, again this one's about um 55 you'll lose about 55 credits if you go ahead and sell but you'll get the funds immediately but like i said always go to trade now some of these items you can't sell that are in your storage um items like these when you right click the item and it doesn't say trade it's not a sellable item and it's as easy as that most of your just body parts are not sellable uh, sometimes you'll end up getting a blue a random blue part which I think is awesome so you get a chance to get a paint or a sign or something every once in a while 
and you may want to sell it say it's not a color you like um, this bumblebee is my favorite paint and uh, I'm not going to sell it but you can sell that for a good a good bit say if you don't care about the color and you look out and get some kind of uh, good paint always go and see how the paint is really bad to sell out right because you would only get 31 credits instead of like 168 58 you know and always go to trade when you're selling alright so what do you do if you want to buy something on the market of course you go to the market now when you first click on the market the pricings are messed up and what I do is I go to sold for and click on it twice okay and what it does is it puts all of these items in order of price just like you would on uh, Amazon and I know that this this one's going to be more expensive each one going down is going to be more expensive than the last and it just helps me judge where stuff is and it, it really makes it less complicated for me uh, aluminum is going really cheap right now these auction house prices have really dived because not as many people are playing the game because they know it's going to get wiped soon but when this becomes free to play I expect all these prices to go up um, and so I like to make sure that everything's in order by clicking sold for twice you can shop by wheels you can see the the white wheels and all that they're not even one credit that's how cheap all that is and so let's talk about crafting and uh, one more thing of course all of these are by category so if you're shopping for a cab go here if you're shopping for a weapon go to weapons and so on hardware hardware or you can type the name the exact name of the object you're looking for into here and find it and so uh, basically you're going to probably need to either sell your resources by going to storage right clicking and go to trade you can sell your scrap metal stuff like that or you can craft items and so if you want to craft items you just go to your factions go in here look around you're going to have to level up some of your factions you need to be certain levels to make certain parts and so I think a good thing to do is to level up a, at least a little bit in all of them but definitely have one that you're going to max out in and uh, I like to get an assortment of parts and I like to be able to make all the parts they do let you change a faction right now I am I don't know who I'm with I think I went back to the nomads and so yeah that's my current faction so if I wanted to go to the lunatics because I wanted to make a cricket right now I would have to change factions you can only do that once a day you can't you can't just switch back and forth and so basically give me just one moment here basically uh, you can craft parts now as I was looking through uh, and right clicking in my stores the different parts I had I noticed that the ammo packs were going for a good bit and and so I could make ammo packs and make money on the on the market you just have to have the required materials now uh, I have enough of everything to make these ammo packs I could probably make a couple and probably gross around 300 credits right now just for making a couple ammo packs um, you, of course you get your scrap metal from doing PvP depending on what you have selected but you have to do raids to get the copper if you refuse to do raids you have to buy this copper and factor that in into your profits okay when you're selling so I like to do some PvE now and then I never sell my copper and I hardly ever buy it okay 
I, I uh, grind my copper as needed. That's just how I do it. And there is a cap on the scrap metal per week. So that's why your scrap metal is pretty valuable. I think it's even worth more than the copper actually. And these items down here you also have to have. But they're cheap. If I was out of these, I would not sweat it at all because they're they're less than a credit each on the auction house. So um, you get these items doing PvP depending on which ones you select. But again, they're not they're not worth enough for me to even sell on the auction house until I get like 20 of them and I just want to clear them out. Uh, when you're making items sometimes you have to rent the park bench when you run out the engineers are really cheap it only costs you 25 but you will I would not be able to make this item without spending 25 credits so you kind of have to factor that in but I know since I have all the materials that I'm making pretty much all profit if I built a couple of these and sold them and so that's basically how you sell and how you buy on the market. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments and give me up to like a day or so to, to write back to you, but I will. And because I think the market is in a very uh, important part of this game, and you're just not going to progress as fast as someone who works the market. They will be making all of these credits and uh, being able to upgrade their items more. Um, I fluctuate. I started out with 2,000 credits because I bought the game. And I've gone down to almost zero and back up to 2,000 again many times. Because what I was doing was I was trying all the weapons and the cabs out and all the tires to see what I liked before it becomes free to play. So now I have a real good idea of what I like to play and what kind of weapons I, I like to use. I won't have to change around as much um, when they wipe all of this. So anyway guys, like I said, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if this has helped you at all, liking and subscribing to small YouTube channels, really help us out more than the big huge guys that already have hundreds of thousands of subscribers it really means a lot to us so like i always say i will see you guys soon with another video